Hello, everybody. I'm, it's actually early in the morning. I got up, for me, this is like wonderful because I'm ready like before nine o'clock, which is pretty darn good for me because the only time I ever get up this early and make sure I'm dressed is if I'm going to a doctor appointment and I'm not. So today I am going to do some fun stuff. So I was kind of excited. I, um, and I am going to go to Costco and get some spaghetti sauce that's on sale. Um, that's my idea of fun at this age of life. And then I think I might stop at a store and check out their uh, Halloween stuff. I would say I'll take a video, but I always seem to forget. But anyone that knows me knows I am a big fan of Halloween. Big. I used to have, last year was my first time not doing it. I've had a Halloween party every year. Uh, since I've had grandchildren, so gosh, 20 years. And I'm talking a big Halloween party. I always did like something, like we would go to um, like, you know, walk around neighborhoods and check out houses. We've taken our, we had an RV at one time. We've loaded that up with grandkids and taken them to uh, places that had like, I, I hate to use the word haunted house because it wasn't like scary. They were like family type um fun stuff and we've done that we've taken them on hay rides we've taken them to pumpkin farms and i always have a party so i serve haunted food and drinks treat bags um i i'm telling you i've had some heck of parties in my gosh what is it now 22 years of being a grandma but i didn't start until they were probably five or six so i probably yeah it might be 15 16 years that i've been doing this but anyway, my parties, that's one thing I think my grandkids, when I'm no longer on this earthly plane, I think my grandkids are going to remember me for my crazy parties. Uh, gosh, I wish I, I might have some pictures I can post. But um, when Sharknado was all the rage in the United States, I don't know if any of you watch Sharknado, but I'm a, I'm a fan of those funky type movies. Yes, they're uh, ridiculous. They're poorly filmed, poorly made, um, very unbelievable, but I'm the first one to watch. So one year I had a Sharknado party for the grandkids. Now that was probably, I wouldn't say it was my best party because my best parties are my, my Halloween parties, but Sharknado was probably my most funnest party. Uh, I went on a search high and low everywhere I could go to get anything in sharks. Every grandchild got a shark cup. We had uh, fish type foods and then we had a Sharknado Fest, where we watched as many Sharknados as we could until we got sick of it. And uh, I found this coolest, biggest shark fish that we had hanging from our chandelier in our dining room. And uh, it was just a great creative party. And so, like I said, I do think when I'm no longer here, that's going to be one of the things my grandkids will talk about is grandma's parties. I had a party for everything. And um, then at the holidays, at Christmas time, I used to do, I don't do this anymore because I, the older grandkids have grown up. Actually, my youngest grandkids I could do it for, but to be honest, I ran out of ideas. I have simply run out of ideas. At uh, Christmas time, Mother's Day, Thanksgiving, I would have them over for a meal and then we would do crafts. And some of my crafts were very successful. Some of them still, the kids joke about them to this day. So, uh... That's, I think, what I'm going to be remembered for. I enjoyed it probably more than they did. I didn't have a Halloween party last year. I really wasn't feeling up to it. And like I said, I'm running out of ideas. However, I am planning on doing a Halloween party this year. No idea what my theme's going to be. No idea what I'm going to do. Um, like I said, I think I've used everything. I've had haunted houses. We've created haunted houses. We've done spook walks. We've just done it all. And the foods I've created are are amazing. And so, um, I don't know how I got on this topic, but I did. I'm there. I'm about done. So anyway, yeah, I'm going to go check out uh, some stores and see what they have as far as Halloween decorations. This is a little bit of a struggle for me. Because of my faith, there's certain lines I don't cross anymore. Uh, when I was younger... You know, everything was fair game. I I bought every decoration 
every costume. I mean, I've even made devil costumes for my children when they were little. But as I got older and closer to God, I have set limits on what I will do. You know, for instance, there's nothing, nothing regarding the devil allowed in my house or in my decorating. I try to do the fun decorations, things that aren't, that are not gory, things that are not, um, satanic, that kind of stuff. I stay away from that. So it's a struggle because I try to do fun, but a little bit spooky. So that's what I do. And, um, so that's what I'm looking for today. I'm hoping to find some pumpkins, maybe some more pumpkins. Oh, just a second. Okay. Had to take a little interruption there. Had to take a little break. I had to move and Baldy came home and, um, I don't do videos with Baldy around. It's not something I'm comfortable doing yet. So anyway, um, yes, I'm on the lookout for pumpkins and some fun little fallish things. And everything I do get, it has to be small because, as you all know, I live tiny. I take a banana break today. So anyway... This is just another video of my crazy life. Nothing important. Um, just my daily life. I posted my little video last night. I hope you guys got to enjoy it of my yard at night. It's rare that I'm out there, and I'm not kidding, because uh, I'm usually in my room like around 6, 630, and then I read and do my game. I have a game that I've been doing for like seven years and I read YouTubes and or watch YouTubes and that's kind of when I communicate with people. So I'm usually in my in bed by six six thirty. Molly, you have to take your toy and go away. So um, my dog bringing me her toy, which is this blue thing, and wants me to play with her, play tug. So actually, right now, I guess you're just getting a glimpse of my crazy life or oh, my boring life. This is what I do. So, today I'm going to Costco, like I said, to, to get uh, some spaghetti sauce that I want to try. And a few non-scary Halloween things. I mean, lunch. Okay, you got to go play fetch by yourself. I can't do you right now. So, the other thing, I just had something I wanted to say, but I forgot what it was. Gosh, I'm just a mess. Oh, I do plan on having a uh, fall Halloween open shed um, candle this weekend where I open my shed and it's my theme is going to be Halloween and fall. I've stocked up on my fall and some Halloween candles. I did not make a lot. Uh, I don't sell a whole ton, but um, it's time to cater to the Halloween crowd, right? Boo. I don't know if you can see that. This is Magic and Myrrh. This is an amazing scent. White pumpkin. Take it or leave it. Maybe it burns better than, than it uh, smells out of the bottle. Actually, I don't remember from last year. Solstice Sorry. Now, this one is amazing. This one I plan on making a bunch more. I would burn this any time of the year. I got to read it to you. It has cloves, cinnamon, cedar, fir, balsam, leather, woods, timber, pepper, and birch. Solstice Got to make sure I have no boogies. But anyway, um, this is a really good one. Really good. So like I said, I might make a bunch more just to keep around and burn year round. It doesn't have to be. This one, ugh, enchanted smudge. I'd say no. This is orange peel, sage, petty grain, tornado, lassic, clove, cinnamon, pine, balsam, and cedar. I'm not feeling this one. Others may. I'm not. This one, I'm kind of all over the place. Excuse the camera moving. Crisp apple, pineapple, pear wine, cinnamon, vanilla, and caramel. Mad moon. Now, I am not a fan of pineapple 
pretty much anything. Even though when I eat it, I always go, oh my gosh, this is so good. Why am I eating this more? But yet I don't. I refuse to cook with pineapple other than sometimes I'll use it as a topping on my ham, but I won't eat it. I just do it because it's a recipe. Uh, this candle has pineapple in it. To me, it's the dominant scent that I smell when I burn this. So I'm not a fan of this one either, but uh, others may like it. I don't know why, but pineapple just... Pineapple, it could be the tiniest amount in anything. It could be the sliver amount in a recipe. And to me, it, it's like it's magnified. And so I just don't... Not a fan. So anyway, that is my Halloween thing I plan on doing this weekend. I'm going to... I went uh, and got some Halloween candy, which I'm going to look for some more at Costco today. Maybe get like one bag of Halloween candy. I'll put a couple pumpkins out. That's it. And then I was thinking of maybe getting a bottle of sangria or something and offering it. And I'm going to make some, some of my famous peanut butter cookies, which is my very own recipe. I have never had a better peanut butter cookie, and I'm not a fan of peanut butter. However, when I make them, I will pull them out of the oven and I will have a couple. And sometimes I will have a warm piece of peanut butter toast. I don't know why. I think to me, peanut butter is kind of like the pineapple. I just, it's not that I don't like it, but I don't like it. Don't make sense, does it? Peanut butter is good for us. But, um, so I'm going to make my famous peanut butter cookies. I did post that on a rest, uh, one of my videos, my peanut butter recipe. However, I can't remember which one. And if any of you missed it, or if anyone would like it, just please leave it in the comments and I will post it. Like I said, this is my own recipe. These are crispy peanut butter cookies. These ones are not like a soft, soft one. They're crispy. They're best eaten to me right out of the oven when they're warm. And sometimes you can, I do sprinkle like the sugars on them. You don't have to, but that just makes them extra, extra good. Uh, you can add little tiny chocolate chips to them if you'd like. I don't, but you can. Um, so I'm going to make those. And that's my weekend. This should be my second only weekend since Memorial Day that I have had, you know, unless someone shows up, um, without my kids around. So it's tough to get some time to do my candle shed. This summer was, this summer was my worst summer for my candle shed. The money that I make, that I earn from selling candles is what I use when I go away for winter. And uh, like I said, this, this season, I'm so far behind it. I don't see how I can catch up unless there's a miracle. And I'm not going to fret about it. It just is what it is. I just had every weekend with family and there was always something going on. And then I just didn't have the energy to do it. And I made a decision that I was no longer going to open my candle shed with, you know, grandkids running around and people running around from my family because it just doesn't feel professional and I want... I want my business to be treated professionally. It's all that I do. It is my source of income. So, you know, if someone's here, I don't open it. However, if someone stopped by, I would gladly, which they have, and I have, I will open it and they can shop. But like I said, I want to treat this like a business. So I just have not opened that. And if this were to continue, I think I'm going to pack it up and close it up because there's no sense of me doing doing this if I can't take one day a week and, you know, open the shed and look reasonably presentable and sell my candles. So I think I will give it one more season and we'll see how next season goes. I'll see how this season ends out. I have never done a fall Halloween open house before, so I'm hoping this will kind of catapult me into closer to what I usually earn over the summer. Like I said, it's my winter money, so I... If I were to use what I have now to go away for winter, I'm not going too far. I'll go about 15, 20 minutes away and stay in a motel for, gosh, at today's price is maybe only one night. <sighs> oh, man, that's terrible. But anyway, that's my little life update. I'm going to take a fun day today. Fun day to me is just like I said, going somewhere and, you know, grocery store or uh, just checking out a little shop. I do want to start my Christmas shopping. I don't spend much anymore. In fact, this will be the leanest year ever, and it's going to continue getting that way. I just don't have the income for it. I don't have the desire either to shop like I used to shop. I just 
Shopping's different since COVID. I don't know if any of else, uh, any else, anyone else notices it, but like where I live, we're down to two stores: Walmart and Kohl's. The Kohl's is is horrible. I haven't been in there in months. When I go and I walk out, disgusted. Just nothing is the same. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. Home Goods is the same. Uh, Hobby Lobby is still the same. Our malls have shut down around here. The restaurant, we, we only have like McDonald's, Arby's, Taco Bell, and their menu. I don't know if any of you noticed that, but their menu, they should be embarrassed. So Arby's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza Hut. We have nothing of any substance to go here in my little town. So going out and doing that kind of stuff is just no longer, there's no fun in it. And this happened since COVID and it hasn't recovered. So um, for me, like, I would really have to go away and hopefully find something, which we did go up to my daughter's, which is about an hour away uh, last year. And that seemed normal to me. They have a mall there. can't remember what it's called. Appleton Mall, Fox River Valley Mall, I think is what it is. That was normal. It was full of little restaurants. It was full of stores. There weren't any vacancies. And it was, I felt like I was in a normal place. Unfortunately, it was so crowded that, you know, I just, I don't do well in crowds. So I didn't really shop. But um, back to my topic, I really wanted to start Christmas shopping. And this year it's going to be, like I said, very lean. I'm just going to get everyone like maybe one shirt or one pair of pajamas and then maybe like a gift card to um, go get coffee or a lunch, a, a light lunch, you know. So um, grandkids maybe a little pair of pajamas and a, a $10 gift card to their favorite fast food place. I just don't have it in me anymore. I don't have it financially, but it's not just that. I just don't have the desire. Uh, I have to shop for 20 people and it's, I'm over it. So um but I usually start in April because I have so many to buy for. And this year I have one gift. So way behind on that too. Um, other than that, my little life is quiet right now um, during the week, during the weekends. It's, it's insane. I am still leaning towards canceling my scans. That's in October. I believe Baldy said it was October 17th. I am leaning towards canceling them. I have never canceled scams. I think I said that in my last video. I just want to live and be left alone. I know many don't understand that. My family doesn't understand it because I've kind of let it be known. I think it's stupid. I think it's very stupid because even if I have to change treatments, my next treatment could be easier than this one's been. I just... I've been doing this for 12 years and I don't think anybody would understand it other than those who are living with cancer. You get tired of it. Appointments, blood draws, pokes, medicines, and that's not including the side effects. That's not including the things that, that kind of come off of having cancer, you know, like a weakened immune system. I just get like, when I get poison ivy, it's, it's, it's rough on me. When I get gout, it's, it's rough when I get uh, yeast infections. I don't get them where we're supposed to get them. I get them on the outside of my body, and they're like, they have a picnic. So it's like everything you get, I mean, you can get a cold, and it's magnified. You get a sore throat, and you can't talk for days, weeks. So I think all of that, and I know it's all related to the weakened immune system, so I'm tired of it all. And like I said, I don't have, I don't have that desire or will to survive that I had when I got diagnosed at 53. I don't know why. I sure should because I'm only 65. I have things more I want to see. My granddaughter's getting married next June. I want to be there. Um, so I can't quite can't figure out why I'm feeling this way because I feel like I'm too young to feel this way. Like I'm too young to just say, okay, I'm done. Just let me die. I feel like I'm still stupid for not wanting to continue on with different treatments when I've only tried two, you know, and as far as I know, I've got a host of treatments available for my type of cancer, but I guess I'm also wise enough now to know that that host of treatments means a host of side effects, 
some of these treatments put you back in the chemo chair, which I was in the chemo chair initially. And I don't want to be there. I mean, my initial treatment was three and a half hours. Looking back, I mean, it's not bad because I know people are in there longer than that. But three and a half hours of sitting still and having these poisons pumped through your body. And then after you're done, you don't feel right. You don't look right. And I don't want to go back to that. You know, like I pop a pill right now and that little pill is so tiny and yet it's so powerful. It took away my mobility. It screwed up my legs. It's, I mean, I guess that's all that it's done. But um, I don't know why I feel this way. I'm trying to process it. I don't have a therapist right now because for whatever reason, he either quit or got let go. And I'm not in the mood to find a new therapist because I don't feel like starting over and going through my whole life again. So I may, may um, message him and just see if he found another job. I would think if he did, though, he would have contacted me. But I'm one that I like to keep a therapist in my back pocket because I like to check in and you know, say, like, doing what I'm doing now with my YouTube viewers, just talk, process, think, and wonder sometimes, like, uh, you know, is my thought process right? Is my thinking right? Like, this cancer stuff, why do I want to not have scans? Why do I not want to continue on with treatment? Um, why am I feeling that way? It's not good, I don't think. So, if any of you have any thoughts on that, drop them in the comments. I'm going to end this now because I just realized even with my little break, I'm probably at my limit. So I don't like to go much over 30 minutes because it takes forever to upload a YouTube video. And I don't like to bore people. So I'm going to go and do my little fun day. And I hope everyone has a great day. We are cooler here finally. I can tolerate this. I'm not dripping like a pig. And um, I feel fall in the air. I'm back to using our hot tub at night, which feels so good on my bones. And I love this kind of weather much more than the hot, hot summer, even though I know we have 90s coming back for the weekend. So I'll be back in my air conditioning hiding. But I hope everyone has a great day. And um, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a message if you'd like. Share my video. Subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you soon.